In this video, I'm going to talk about Power BI apps and how they can be used to distribute your Power BI content to a large audience. First of all, let's talk about workspaces and apps. So workspaces, we've talked about this uh, earlier and we have covered how they can be used to share content or work, collaborate with others in a, a specific environment. Now, Workspace is the complete name for these, as you notice here, is App Workspaces, but I usually just call them Workspaces. But each of these, when you click on them, you would notice that they have a button to publish this App Workspace. So I'm gonna go to my Learn Power BI class uh, and notice there's a Publish App button. So let's talk about that for a second. So App Workspace is where you or maybe other members can collaborate together and build a, a data set, reports, and dashboards. But at that point, you have an opportunity to publish that app to an organization app store. And once you have published that, then other users within the organization have an opportunity to then consume that app and they would get essentially a view into your workspace. So let's see this in action. So here I am, I'm an author and owner of the workspace. And in here, I'm just gonna click the publish app button. Now notice first of all that I have an image here. So the image you can set by going to your workspace and I usually just click members, which opens a new window. And here I have an opportunity to change the image, which I have already done. You can simply upload a new image here. So that way you can set an image and uh, one, once, uh, and this will be part of the app as well. You can specify a description. So I'm just gonna uh, paste something here real quick. You can choose a background color. Again, if your organization has a lot of people publishing their apps, all of these, the image, the description, and the background color can maybe help this one stand out a bit. And the next uh, part you have to choose is content. Now really here, content, there's not much choice there. Anything you put in your workspace is going to be available as part of the app. So, well, if you don't want something in there, you have to remove it from your workspace. The only choice you have is the landing page, which is when they access your open or open your app, what do they see? Do they see a specific content? Maybe you wanna just launch them off with the dashboard, or if you choose none, then they're gonna see the content list. So I'm gonna leave this to none, uh, but of course you can choose a specific dashboard or report if you want that to be the starting page, the landing page. And the next part is access. Now here you can specify a set of email addresses. So I can just type in uh, email addresses here if I want. Of course you can use security groups as well. But since I have a fairly small organization, I'm just gonna click entire organization. And certainly if your data, what content you have, if it's okay to share with the entire organization, you can choose this option as well. And at this point, you're ready to publish the app. So I'm gonna click finish, publish, and there it is. So now you can copy this URL and email it to uh, somebody, but that, that step is not needed. I'm gonna show you how others can consume this app now. So now we're gonna talk about this step where other users consume the app you've just published to your organization app store. So for this, on the left, I have the author, the publisher, right? So this is me, Avi Singh, and on the right, I have my dear friend, John Doe. Right, so just, I, I want you to be able to kind of see that side by side. So this is where I publish the app and this is the person who's gonna consume it. I'm logged in as John Doe. So uh, John Doe, all the, uh, the person has to do in your organization is they'll go to the apps and say, get apps. And in here, they're gonna see all the apps that have been published within your organization that they have access to. Remember that some of these apps might be limited to specific individuals. They're only gonna see the ones that they have access to. But since the, the one that I published was to entire organization, John Doe sees it here, and they see it, they see the icon, uh, the description and so forth, and they can just say, get it now. And now it's available to them within this apps list. And of course, if they get more, all of those are gonna be listed here. And to consume it, to view it, to interact with it, they just click it and open it. And since I hadn't chosen a landing page, it just shows me the content list. So I'm gonna maximize this window now. 
Uh, so they have access to the dashboards. They can open that. And of course, as the data gets refreshed, and I'm assuming that's going to happen automatically, uh, they're going to see the most recent data all the time. They can see the reports. They can interact. They can click and filter. All of that functionality is available to them. And if there are workbooks, they have access to that. They also have access to data sets. And this is the part that I like about this, that since they have access to the data set, they can also use the analyze in Excel function. And as you've seen in the other video, what that does is it gives you a pivot table connected to the data set. So it gives them a very free form way of analyzing, slicing and dicing data in a familiar environment to most business users, Excel. So that's a great advantage of using an app. Now I want to show you something, uh, another aspect of an app. I'll go to my workspace, I'll open my dashboard, and I'll do so again on the consumer side as well. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swap or yeah, let's stack them like this. Notice I made the change in the dashboard. Now remember, if the data is updated, they always get the uh, uh, latest and greatest. But if I make a change to a dashboard or a report, I change a chart, I add a chart, remove something, change something, they don't see it automatically. Even if I refresh it, I'm not going to see the change. In fact, they're only going to see the change when you go to your workspace and click Update App which makes it really convenient if you have a set of changes. Maybe you're trying to add a new data model or something and there's a set of graphs which are not quite ready. So this gives you essentially a working environment, a staging environment where you can work on all those changes and only when they are ready, of course in this case it was a minor change, but only when all of those changes are ready, you update app. Okay, maybe click it a few times. And now, all of your consumers, now when they go to their app, they see the change that I just made. So again, it gives you kind of the staging environment where you can control the changes you make here, make sure that they're working well, and once everything is complete, you update the app, and that's going to reflect the changes to all of the users using the app. Last thing I'm going to show is if you ever change your mind and you want to unpublish your app, you can just click on the three ellipses next to it and click unpublish app. So again, apps gives you a great way to distribute your Power BI content to a large audience. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.